Good morning. It's been a minute since I've been on my videos. Thanks for being here. It is about four degrees, uh, minus four with a wind chill. So pretty chilly. All of a sudden we have fall in the air. I don't mind though. I don't mind this type of weather. I've been just out wandering and visiting with some of the trees. I normally do and messages have been extremely quiet um, for a long time, like a year. Just full on messages and lots of connection with trees and all of a sudden it's quiet. The birds are quiet and um, maybe it's just fall settling in. I don't know. Changes. So I look like I've aged about 10 years in a year. <laughs> Thank you to all my ailments but um, a while ago I had mentioned that I was doing a 21 day yoga challenge and um, I was really hopeful for that and guess what I completely failed it I got to about day 17 and everything in my body just crashed and uh, I think it was for a multiple reasons that happened and that happens to a lot of us when we're um, starting a wellness journey or a health journey and uh, really when I look back at it I hit that day 17 and then my body was switching it was changing and um, it was just too much for my body to handle so I had to just stop and then after that I ended up with another virus uh, for most of August and that set me back so once I get sick now um, it really affects the nerves in my head and then I have to reset and reset and reset. So that's where I am right now. I'm just resetting my life and <clears throat> it's okay. So in scientific studies, they tell you 20 minutes in the woods will help calm your nervous system. And for me, I'm finding about 30 minutes does it. I feel a complete switch in my body when I'm out here uh, just relaxing, sitting. It takes about 30 minutes. my view from this side. There she is. I don't have a tripod. Do you hear the wind? So I feel like I'm just starting over this week um, with everything. Food, hydration, uh, how I take care of myself, how I speak to myself, <clears throat> uh, how I spend uh, my money on household income, <laughs> how I am with my daughter, and the time spent with her. Yeah, just uh, when you get into these ruts, you just have to kind of start over. And I guess this is what today's vlog is, <laughs> video. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, it's just a start over for me, day one. And... Uh, yeah. Come here, Jen. Come here, Jenny. Oh, my buddy. So the last videos I posted, I did get some comments and um, it was a little triggering. Uh, it did have to do with grief and um, <clears throat> yes, grief has been in my life is life altering for sure. But um, there were so many people involved and I have a big family that um, it's not my place to talk about it. I definitely can feel talk about my own feelings of grief um, in the way that I have dealt with that. And um, there was a big part of me for a long time. I didn't want to be out in nature, um, at least a couple of years. And um, that switched. I don't feel that anymore and nature has become part of 
my healing process and um, just getting on with life. Definitely grief never leaves you, but you move on. And I think this all hit at the same time. You know, I'm trying to, um, my daughter is older now, but she was a preemie and I'm constantly helping her, not helping her, but uh, supporting her and advocating for her. She is um, doing very well. And uh, then the pandemic hit and then I was very sick for um, a, a couple of reasons. And yes, COVID was part of that. It was not a vax injury. And then, uh, yeah, it's just life. It's picking up pieces. And um, you put grief into that whole process of trying to find yourself at middle age and all these issues. And it's just another um, obstacle that uh, you have to navigate and find what works for you. So I'm hoping this year, as I go into my 51st year, if you can believe that, that um, I am a little more sure of myself and I try to figure out uh, who I am and where I'm going. Sorry, I keep stopping because um, my brain is tired today. I find if I just stop and collect my thoughts then I don't stutter and stammer as much. I think I'm doing pretty good though. I think if you followed throughout my videos this past year, uh, you will see that um, my voice is clear on some days and I didn't know if I was gonna get that back. So my plan of action is um, definitely food, hydration, uh, body movement, sitting in nature, meditations, anything I can fit into my day and I know for many of us that that's almost impossible when we work nine to five jobs, when we're busy in the evenings, we're busy all weekends. Um, that is my biggest obstacle, I think, even though I'm at home, is that I have to um, find that time for myself. And I know there's many, many moms right now that I talk to and we just don't have the time for ourselves. It's crazy. So I commend you if you're out there and you're going through whatever you're going through and finding the time to take care of yourself. It's a beautiful thing to find when you can find it. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, I'm just, I'm listening to the leaves and there is birds out. There hasn't been a lot. I saw a massive woodpecker the other day and that was really cool. But I used to see deer and sometimes coyote, foxes, and I don't see anything anymore. And I think it's because of the um, development in this area. And it's only going to get worse. I think a lot of the spots I've visited along the Grand, um, I won't be able to go to anymore. It's just going to be fully developed and not as safe either. It's kind of sad. But that's the way of the world right now, isn't it? What do you think, Jen? Do you want to keep going? I think I've lost her. There she is. My best friend. <laughs>